thanks for being with us here on this Tuesday morning. We've been talking a lot about the return to school. You can't just think about the K through 12 students, yeah. college kids. Yeah, right? they're going right now, right? Mm -hmm. So many of them. Yeah, all across the country. Um, and think about this. Imagine you are a first year student. You're excited to get into school, excited to get into that dorm room, to meet your new roommate, and then you show up and that roommate is not vaccinated. What do you do? Right, yeah. This won't be a problem at many universities, right? Because more than 700 colleges in the U.S. are requiring students to be vaccinated. There are many, but there's still a lot that are There not. are a lot more than 700 right. colleges out there, right? Yeah. And so this is, you know, this reminds me of kind of some of the uh, arguments and disagreements you've seen among parents who are uh, perhaps divorced mm -hmm. and co-parenting and one parent is vaccinated and the other is not and how do you sort that through it's I I think it's a challenge if right. you were a student would you request a different roommate right and can you request a roommate and what will the what is the college going to say to you if you say look I'm not comfortable with this I mean you have a lot of privacy issues when you're coming into this uh, you know, I think the colleges were thinking about what we know this is going to be an issue. What do we do? Do we have people who are unvaccinated just go in their own separate dorm? Do we try and put them among the vaccinated students so you get a better protection? I mean, there's a lot of questions that come in with this. Right. Yeah. And as an individual and thinking this through as a parent, like I wouldn't if, if I uh, got my child vaccinated mm -hmm. and I took the precautions. I don't think I'd want my kid to be rooming with an unvaccinated roommate. Mm -mm. No, because I just wouldn't. for a lot of reasons, too. I mean, you can't wear masks all the time, right? You also shouldn't wear it at nighttime. What happens if that roommate gets COVID? Where do you go? Where yeah. do they go? Uh, you know, University of Florida, this is just one example, but they're telling any students who test positive for COVID that they'll have to isolate off campus, the university at the same time is saying like, look, we're not going to be responsible for this. You know, the v vaccine is available. It's up to you to get it. You know, I think that attitude is is uh, one that I'm hearing more often mm -hmm. from people who are vaccinated, where they're saying, look, I, I did this. I made the choice. You can make whatever choice you want. Mm -hmm. But I my life should not be put on hold, my education, my workplace, whatever, because you are choosing not to be vaccinated. Right. It, 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 it is an interesting issue from a university standpoint. Mm -hmm. If you are not going to mandate uh, that everyone get vaccinated, um, is right. it, what do you do? Right, and if you're not going to mandate it, I do wonder if then some privacy issues come into play. Yeah. You're in gonna, terms ask of, are you gonna ask everyone? Ask everyone, or you know, what right. if you are an RA? Are you gonna sort of get involved in trying to negotiate all of this too? Um, it's gonna be a tough one yeah. going into the fall. Yeah, we've seen so. all sectors of society deal with this, right? Adults right. who are dating, like, do you ask mm -hmm. that question early? Like, yeah. it, it's somewhat similar, except you're living with this, this person. Other person. And you're also 18 mm -hmm. years old and you're starting something new and you're trying to figure out, you know, just how you live yeah. on your own. And you then this be, is the first thing right. that comes at you. Uh, Lots to think tough, about. Right? Yeah.